Hello everybody. In this video demo, I would like to show how we can create an organic leaf like form like the one shown on screen. By the way, this is a viewer requested video. Okay, let's start. To help speed up the modern process, I created a simple definition that can be used to create a sine wave pattern as shown on screen. If you want, you can click on the link below to download it or you can just simply um, pause this video to replicate um, what is on screen over here. Okay. What I'm going to do now is to set the parameters to the desired um, look that I want. It is used to control the length. I think I want it to be slightly longer. Yeah, I'm going to right click edit uh 300 maybe. See how it looks like. Okay, I think this is uh, closer to what I want. So what I'm gonna do now is to bake the result. Right mouse clicking over this node, I'm gonna click the bake. Click OK. Now I can close this. Okay, so I got my result over here. Okay, what I'm going to do now is to rotate this right angle and then uh, extrude it. Okay, so I'm going to click this extrude dot, extrude it to somewhere here. You see this is the uh, initial pattern that we will want to place on the final form so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this to one side <coughs> i don't need this anymore okay now uh let's proceed to create the main form Going to use an arc something like that. Then I'm going to review this. You're going to type the review command and rebuild it to this value over here okay degree 3 point count 11 and coming to the perspective view i'm going to move some of the points to create the general wave pattern okay i'm going to alternate the selection i'm not going to select this from this point onwards, I want to alternate the selection. You can select this, uh, skip this, select this, skip this, select this, skip this. And then I'll pull using the gumball to get the required uh, result. And then I'll alternate the selection. I'll select this, 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 pull. Create this kind of a uh, pattern. I want to come over here to have a better feel of how the final thing will look like. I think I can move this down a little bit more. Okay, something like that. And then over here, I will create a straight curve. And over here, I will create another curve, mirror it so that I can create like a surface over here using the sweep tool rail. To create the fan shape, the initial fan shape, okay, something like that. I'm going to mirror this to the other side. Okay. 
okay so this is going to be our uh, basic form okay i'm going to use the sweep two rail first rail second rail cross section cross section to create this kind of shape okay let's do inverse height okay i reckon that um as we are going to create something that look like leaf this kind of stiff so i'm going to make it uh more wavy or curvy and to do that um, we can use the deformation tools such as the hid let's see how it looks like after doing uh hid deformation so select control object Mm, let me just use the bounding box uh coordinate system just use world okay um the point counts for x y and z axis uh let's set it and you, as you can see it's based on uh this uh axis over here so i think uh for the y let's set a bit maybe seven for the x i think i need more for the z i don't need so much z maybe um i think i just leave it as four enter. <clears throat> press enter enter one more time and we get like discount uh grid we can use to control the form. What we're going to do is just uh, move up this first. Get our first waviness. And then I want this part to bounce up a bit more. So let's select this. this leave this up yeah so we get like this kind of waviness that is uh closer to the leaf shape that we want okay i think i'm happy with this form so now what we need to do is to get this final wave pattern onto this surface to do that we can use another deformation tool namely the flow along surface but um before i proceed i need to create the the uh, base reference shape okay which i can uh do so using the rectangular plane okay making sure that the object the end snap is turned on i'm going to snap here snap to the other end okay so you can see that uh, i got this rectangular plane here okay and now I can proceed to do the flow along surface. Let's hide this. We don't need this. Okay. Flow along surface. Select object to flow along surface. Go to select uh, this. Enter. Select base surface. And before we select it, let's just make sure that all the parameters are correct. Okay. Rigid, no. Copy, yes. Okay. So, um, select it at one corner let's say here and then select target surface let's see whether it uh correspond not by clicking on here okay unfortunately this is not the effect that i want although it looks pretty good pretty nice uh, but this is not what the viewer is requesting so i'm going to press the ctrl z and i need to change the u and v direction of the uh, base surface okay to do that you can type dir at the command prompt select the reference base surface this one enter uh, swap uv enter okay and let's repeat the flow along surface again okay select object to flow along surface will be this enter when done 
base surface at one corner should be here. Target surface at the corresponding corner should be here. Yeah, now we got the, the effect that, that, that we want. Okay. I can uh, remove the the reference of base. Okay, so I'm going to click the okay. Yeah, so this is the kind of surface that we want. And you can proceed to, to thicken it, but I, I'm not going to do that because uh, it's going to take a while because of the complexity of the surface. With that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that has been useful. See you. Bye.